While the first F-A-18 was shot down by U.S. guided missile cruiser Gettysburg, reports indicate that it nearly shot down a second Navy F-A-18 fighter jet, as the second surface-to-air missile missed the F-A-18 by just 100 feet in a friendly fire incident. The RDO Center for Advanced Systems organized a day-long workshop on hypersonics, commemorating the completion of 1,000 hypersonic tests in its hypersonic wind tunnel. The DRDO is working on an anti-hypersonic glide vehicle interceptor missile, and the project is in very advanced stages of development, and its key visual design has almost been finalized. The DRDO has unveiled its high-power microwave system, that is designed to disrupt disable and destroy electronic systems from a distance by emitting high-intensity microwave pulses. Hindustan Aeronautics is all set to conduct the first firing test of the Astra Mark 1 air-to-air -air missile from Tejas Mark 1A aircraft next month. The Parliamentary Standing Committee on Defence has confirmed that the actual strike range of DRDO's vertical launch short-range surface-to-air missile extends up to 80 km. The Indian Air Force has announced plans to retire its S-125 Pechora surface-to-air missile systems by 2030. Himachal Futuristic Communications Limited has inaugurated a defense manufacturing facility in Tamil Nadu, with a capacity to produce 5,000 thermal sites, 2.5 lakh artillery electronic fuses and 1,000 ground surveillance radars per year. India's plans to increase the indigenous content in the AL-31 FB engines from 54% to 63% have hit a roadblock, as Russia has expressed reluctance to approve further localization efforts. HAL and the gas turbine research establishment have already developed locally produced equivalents, but Russia has warned that such modifications would void the engine's warranty. Russia's stance stems from concerns over safeguarding its proprietary technologies, and ensuring continued dependence on Russian support for these engines. If HAL proceeds with these modifications without Russian authorization, HAL will need to assume full responsibility for the engine's performance, including providing warranties and after-sales support. After reports that developmental trials of the Brahmos NG is expected to start by end of 2025, Brazil has once again shown a significant interest in the Brahmos next-generation supersonic cruise missile, as a potential armament for its Gripen-E fighter jets. The Indian Air Force has strongly backed the Brahmos NG program, positioning itself as the missile's first customer. The initial variant under development will be an air-launched version, optimized for integration with fighter jets like the Su-30 Tejas Mark 1A Tejas Mark II and Gripen E. The Indian Air Force and the Indian Army have announced plans to acquire 353 Indian multi-role helicopters from Hindustan Aeronautics Limited while the Indian Navy will secure 66 units of a deck-based variant for anti-submarine warfare, anti-surface warfare and other maritime-specific missions. HAL aims to complete first prototype and ground test vehicle by 2027, and the Air Force has sought a high production rate target of 35 units per year, right from the program's inception. Today's Top 3 Comments Oh, my God.